Hi, I'm Ginny Brady from U First Federal Credit Union in Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh has a wealth of history, and you don't have to look far to find it. I found some today. It's a cooperative effort between the uh, Living History Education Foundation, uh, SUNY Plattsburgh, and the Teacher Center in Plattsburgh to uh, bring the, the actual battle of Plattsburgh alive for educators and uh, make them aware that there is a depot of materials to use with students uh, on the War of 1812. Uh, which is going to be set up and does exist now at the Teacher Center out, out, out at Sibley Hall. And uh, teachers who take these courses can sign these materials out and use them with their students to bring history alive. So this is going to be going on all summer, or no, is this? No, uh, this is one course. This is okay. called Battle of Plattsburgh. Mm -hmm. This summer there's going to be a three-credit course called War of 1812: The Forgotten War. It starts in Sackets Harbor mm -hmm. and goes into Canada, and it comes down, ends it here at Plattsburgh. Uh, there's a course for one week at Fort Ticonderoga called Fort Living History Fort Ticonderoga. There's another course uh, called Fleur de Lis and Tomahawks. That's a week-long course that goes from Fort uh, George and William Henry all the way to Montreal and back. Wow. Um, and there's a course at Crown Point on uh, the French and Indian War, a weekend course, two-credit course. And then there's a uh, two-credit course, uh, Assault and Carry On, at the last weekend in June. Now, all these are, are you can check the website, uh, www livinghistoryed.org. Excellent. And the foundation pays for all the board, the room, all expenses are paid. All it is, Great. the teacher just pays $25 for each in-service credit or the uh, the graduate credit fee. Excellent. But this is all, everything else is paid for by the foundation. Paid for. Wonderful. It's a wonderful opportunity. It's Florence, right? Tammy yeah. from uh, Sable Valley? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing here today, Tammy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here, Do you teach, do you teach history? I teach fifth grade, yes. I'm a social studies teacher, yeah. Okay. Do you teach the War of 1812 in I your class? I teach the French and Indian War, actually. Okay, so that kind of leads up to the War of 1812. Yeah. I know my history, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. So you're learning what it was like to live then, huh? Yes. Okay, very good. Mary? Mary? <laughs> you're from Chattagay, right, Mary? Chattagay. What's your name? That's my name. Yeah, uh-huh. Mary. Mary Jones. Jones. Okay, and what grade do you teach, Mary? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Do you teach War of 1812? No, there's a paragraph on the War of 1812 okay. in the chapter. So how'd you get roped into this, uh, so to speak? another course that I teach. Okay, just great. very interested in it. We do Revolutionary War, so. Okay, wonderful. And your name is? Angela Harrigan. Where do you teach, Angela? Uh, Northern Adirondack in Ellenburg. Okay, great. I teach first grade. First grade. Yes. So this is kind of fun for the first graders to hear about what's what it's like to be in the War of 1812, huh? I'm excited to talk to them about some things. Where'd you get the outfits? The guys oh. there. So, what's going on in Plattsburgh the next in in May and June? 
Well, Plattsburgh's in for a rare treat, uh, and for the next three weekends, including this weekend, this weekend we have the Living History Foundation for the teachers, we have the Civil War Encampment sponsored by the Clinton County Historical Association, next week we have the Military Timeline sponsored by the Battle of Plattsburgh Association. So that's Memorial Day. Memorial Day, yes ma'am. Uh -huh. And the following weekend uh, after that we have a Museum Open House Day, look for the announcements in the papers. Uh, all of the local museums uh, in cooperation with the SUNY Feinberg Special Collections uh, are we're going to be open. There's free admission to all the museums and special events uh, on the weekend and that's two weeks from now. Excellent. Are, uh, is there any cost? No, they're free and open okay. to the public. Excellent. Excellent is right. I'll make sure that our credit union members that you first and people who read the broadcast know about this. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much.